Welcome to the studio. Today I'm going to walk you through creating a analogous color painting. Um, you're going to be painting a meal. It needs to have at least three food items and you're going to do it on a roughly a 9 by 12 inch paper. You can include utensils or anything else like that if you want, but you're supposed to take a picture of some meal that you eat, draw it in, kind of sketch it in, figure out where you want your colors to go, and you're going to paint it with an analogous color scheme. So when you're creating the analogous color scheme, remember those are colors that you that are next to each other on the color wheel, adjacent. So if you think about the color wheel, you've got a primary next to a secondary color. Those are the two kind of main colors you're going to pick and then the colors that you make when you add those two colors together, that is the third color. It's called the tertiary color. So blue and green are next to each other on the color wheel, primary color, secondary color, and in between blue and green, when you add green to blue, you're going to create a tone that's a little bit more greenish, a greenish blue, and uh, that would be called blue-green. So those are your three main colors that you're going to use in your image. Um, obviously you could do different analogous color schemes like red and orange and red-orange, or yellow and orange, yellow-orange, you get the idea, red-violet, mix red-violet. Um, but make sure that you're being careful and you're picking the correct color scheme because that's an important piece to your grade on this. And the next thing that you're going to want to do if you're using paint and not colored pencils is create uh, tints and shades of each color. So I took my blue here, I made a tint, a light blue, and I made a shade by adding just a little bit of black to create a really dark navy blue. I created a tint of my blue-green and a shade of it by adding a little bit of black and I created a tint of this green here by adding white and a shade by adding black. Now I've got a nice amount of uh, color to use, different range of values that I can use to kind of paint my piece in. And uh, go ahead and start painting in your, your image once you've got this. I've got some eggs, some Canadian bacon, and some hash browns. So we're making blue-green eggs and ham. Uh, I know that's terrible, but we're going with it. So here, I'm going to bring in a nice highlight, kind of right for that yolk area. I'm going to start with just kind of my lightest, my lightest light there. That's going to be that tone right there. And I'll kind of work my way around. I'm going to do the eggs, the yolks with the tealish color. Fill that in. And I really recommend just kind of picking off one one value at a time, kind of working your way around your piece, um, having a system and kind of working your way through it uh, by value. So if I do that piece there, I can use a little bit of this green here to pick off some different kind of values on the edge. colors are both wet, I can kind of blend those together, use that brush to kind of work those into each other. I'm going to leave that white as it's kind of a highlight. I'll go back in and put a little bit of white on there later. And then maybe I want to use like for, for the white of the egg, maybe I want to go in with this kind of the sky blue color. Bring that in, just start filling in some of those pieces. For example, if I was going to do the fork here, you know, as a, uh, in the blue tones over here, I could go in and bring in, you know, my darkest dark, and that would be that shade. So I've got three true, true hues, a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary, and then I've got uh, three tints and then three shades to go through and that's how you do it thanks for listening